Hi kids! Welcome to our online service that has been produced specially for you. Good morning everyone! Welcome to today's online service specially made for you. Do you know what the meaning of your name is? Quickly type it in the live chat. My name is Dash. And then write what it means. Mention the meaning of your name. Do you think God has a name? Yes. God has many names in the Bible. Over the next few weeks, we are going to learn the names of God and what it means. Today we'll learn two names of God. The first name of God mentioned in the Bible is in the very first sentence in the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. The Old Testament was written in Hebrew, not in English. So the word for God in Hebrew is Elohim. That means supreme ruler over the world or mighty one. The mighty one who has all the power. He is above everything. You and I can use this name Elohim when we pray, even though we pray in English or in whatever language we know. Have you heard of the name El Shaddai? El means God and El Shaddai means the Almighty, all-sufficient God. It means He is the God of power and might and is all-sufficient or more than enough for us. If you have Jesus in your life, He is all you need because He is all-powerful and mighty to help us do all we have to do. And he gives us everything we need. In Genesis chapter 17 verse 1, God introduced himself to Abraham as El Shaddai. When Abraham was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said to him, I am God Almighty, walk before me and be blameless. Genesis 17 verse 1. In this verse, God reveals himself to Abraham as God Almighty, which in the Hebrew language is El Shaddai. El Shaddai means that God is Almighty who has the power to nourish, to take care of, to satisfy, to keep us happy, give and provide all that we need. Before we go ahead, let's pray together and get started. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for letting us join online for the kids' service. We ask you to be with us as we learn more about you and praise you. Thank you for being our Al Shaddai, the All Sufficient One. God, you are powerful to provide for all our needs. So bless this time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Psalms 145 verse 3 Great is our Lord and highly to be praised, and His greatness is unsearchable. We serve an almighty and powerful God, and He is perfect in all His ways and deserves to be praised. We praise our God because of His goodness, His grace, mercy, blessings, and His forgiveness. So come on everyone, let's stand up to our feet and sing and dance to praise our Lord Jesus Christ. Hello, good morning. Are you ready to worship the Lord this morning? There is no one like Jesus. Amen. Let's sing it to the Lord and sing and celebrate in His presence. Amen. Yeah. 
Exactly. 
mighty, all powerful. He is El Shaddai, He is more than enough for us. When Abraham was 99 years old and his wife Sarah was 89 years old, the Lord appeared to him and said, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless. I will confirm my covenant between me and you and will greatly increase your numbers. Children, imagine a 99 year old man having a newborn baby is that even possible but el shaddai is all powerful and all sufficient nothing is impossible for him abraham and sarah were past the age for having children but el shaddai promised them a son God has the power to keep his promises. He has the power to do whatever he says. He can even do what seems humanly impossible. God did fulfill his promises to Abraham. This is the first time where God reveals himself as El Shaddai in the Bible. 
God is all mighty and all powerful to keep his promises to provide for whatever we need. God is our unlimited supply of everything we need. He is enough and we need nothing else. God also reminds Jacob that he is El Shaddai in Genesis 35:11. I am God almighty. Be fruitful and increase in numbers. A nation and a community of nations will come from you and kings will be among your descendants. Before God made great and big promises with Jacob, he reminds Jacob that he is El Shaddai, that he has the power to keep his promises and the power to do whatever he says he will even do though the promise seems big god did fulfill his promise and made jacob fruitful so you see children all the promises that god made in the bible in the bible he keeps them god has the power to do whatever he says nothing is too hard for god he will do whatever we need all we need to do is trust in him okay children are you ready for the activity have you all been paying attention to today's lesson let's check I will ask you a few questions and I want you to quickly type in the answers in the live chat section. Are you ready for the first question? Here we go. Question number 1. What does the name Elohim mean? Option A, supreme ruler over the world. Option B, he is above everything. option c the almighty one come on children quickly type in your answers that's right all of the above that's right kids all of the above is the right answer are you ready for the next question question number 2 what does the name El Shaddai me Option A the almighty Option B all sufficient god Option C the all knowing god Come on children quickly type in your answers That's right the answer is A and B El Shaddai means the almighty god and the all sufficient god. Now are you ready for the last question? Question number 3. Where was El Shaddai first mentioned in the Bible? Option A when God appeared to Abraham. Option B when God appeared to Isaac. option c when god appeared to jacob come on children quickly type in your answers that's right when god appeared to abraham very good children all of you did so well keep it up jeremiah 3217 Ah Lord God it is you who has made the heavens and the earth by your great power and by your outstretched arm nothing is too hard for you nothing is too hard for God to do and provide for us so let's stand up hold your bible high up in the air and make our declaration 
Say this out loud, bold and strong with me. This is God's word. This is God speaking to me. I am who God says I am. I can do what God says I can do. I will become everything God has promised. I am saved, healed, delivered, redeemed. I am blessed, victorious, prosperous, triumphant. I am a minister of God, a servant of Christ and channel of his blessing to many people. I receive his word, I believe his word and I live by his word. Christ is my master and to him I am in absolute surrender. I walk into the more glorious covenant with God. I live the more glorious life in the spirit. I manifest the more glorious ministry in the spirit. In Jesus name, Amen. Children, over the next few weeks, we are going to be learning the names of God. Hmm. Why do we need to know the names of God? Knowing the names of God helps us to know more about God. We get to know who God is and we get to know what he does. Psalms chapter 9 verse 10 says, Lord, Lord, those who know your name come to you for protection. And when they come, you do not leave them without help. So today we have been learning about Elohim and El Shaddai. Now I want all of you to repeat those two names with me. You can repeat after me. Elohim, El Shaddai. Good job. It means the almighty and all sufficient God. Now you can do that with me. Almighty all sufficient God. Well done children. So now here I have with me a glass jar. Okay. Now this glass jar represents you and me. I want you to picture yourself being this glass jar. A lot of imagination here. So children did you notice that this glass jar is empty? Sometimes we also feel empty on the inside. Sometimes we feel like there's something missing, there's something not enough and so we want to be filled, we want to be satisfied. So what do we do? We pray and we ask God to fill us up and our God is an all sufficient God. Now I have here with me a big glass tumbler, a big glass jar. And it is filled with colored water. Now I want you to picture that this glass jar represents God. And the colored water also represents God. Now, when God fills us up, He just doesn't fill us up a little bit. He fills us up and keeps filling us up. And He wants to fill us with more. When God pours into our lives, He fills us up till the brim, until we're satisfied. When we feel unhappy, He fills us up with His joy. When we feel afraid or in fear and there's no peace, He fills us up with His peace. He fills us up until we are completely satisfied. Now children, if you lack something, or if you feel empty on the inside, just call out to the name of the Lord El Shaddai, the Almighty and All-Sufficient God. And He will fill you up and satisfy all of your needs. God has the power. He has the power to do what He says He will do. And is there anything hard for our God? There is nothing hard for our God. Maybe sometimes you might find it difficult to study. Or if you find a subject like math or Hindi or any other language too difficult to understand and learn. Or maybe when you are writing a test or an exam, you have studied so much 
but you studied so much that you find it difficult to remember what you learnt. Maybe you have a weakness, something that bothers you, troubles you. Sometimes you're in fear and that's something that you cannot overcome. Remember your God. He is El Shaddai God. He is all sufficient for you. All you have to do is just ask Him. You go and pray and He will help you and supply all that you need. Now, if you don't see an answer, do you stop? No, you continue to pray. You continue to wait on God because you put your trust in God. Don't be in a hurry and do things on your own just because you need something immediately. Don't lose your faith in God, children. El Shaddai has the power to give you what he has promised and what we need. But in order to believe and receive God's promise, children, we first need to know what are God's promises. And that is why we read and study the word of God. Because all of God's promises are in the Bible, in the word of God. And that's why it's so important. Now, children, can we all make a decision today to read God's word every day? You know what? The Bible has more than 3,000 promises. And when you read God's word, Mark them, underline them, write them down separately, write down all of his promises and then when you really need them, when you're struggling, go back and look for them and you will find it easily. When you need God's help or when you need God to meet your needs, speak his promises. Like Abraham and Jacob, you will see his promise fulfilled in your life too. Remember children, our God is our unlimited supply of everything that we need. He is more than enough and we need nothing else. He will keep his word and he will fulfill all his promises if we believe. And we don't need to look for or work out any other thing to help us. He is able to do absolutely more than we could ask or imagine. Now we only need to believe, we only need to have faith in God and take Him at His word. So let's take some time now to do the one thing I always enjoy doing which is talking to our Heavenly Father. So even as we enter into this time of prayer, I will read out a few points that we cannot come together in agreement and pray for. And before I lead in prayer, I want you, wherever you are, just take a few moments to pray by yourself for these specific things. So let's begin by giving praise and thank God that He is able to provide us everything we need. He is more than enough for us and we need nothing else. So let's praise and thank God that He is able to provide us everything we need. He is more than enough for us and we need nothing else. Heavenly Father, we thank you Lord that we can enter your courts with praise and we can give you the thanksgiving for who you are. And Lord, apart from you, we can do nothing. And we thank you that you strengthen us and you are the one who gives us a reason to be uh, happy, to rejoice and to be glad, O oh God, in our spirits. I pray, Lord, for every child, every person, every individual, Lord God, who is praying out there. I pray, Lord, that you will touch them, meet them, O oh God, at their point of need. And I pray, Father, that you will give them a reason to rejoice and the reason being you, Lord. We thank you for the hope that you alone give, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for listening to our prayer. So the second point is, let's take some time to tell God our needs and the different areas that you need his help. And children, is there something too hard for you to do? 
Are you expecting to see a miracle? Let's join together and ask God, who is El Shaddai, the Almighty, to help us to do what you could never do by yourself. Let's also expect God to work miracles in our lives that only He can do by His power. Thank you, Lord, that you are El Shaddai, you are God Almighty. And we thank you, Father, that you can work, work through the storm, work through the fire, work through those difficult situations that seem to be so overwhelming, oh God. Father, I pray that you will enable us to see you for who you are. That you are that light, Lord, who truly shines through the darkness. You are that strength, O oh God, that we can draw from. And Lord, I pray that you will enable each one of us to know that no matter how bleak a situation looks, that not just will we put our hope and trust in you, but we will also expect you to do that unimaginable or the unthinkable because you are the God of miracles, O oh Father. We thank you, Lord, for your word. We thank you, Lord, that you are the God of uh, who keeps your word and you are the God of miracles. We thank you once again, El Shaddai, that you will work through every child's life, oh God. Every child who's going through some situation or even if they are not, I pray, Father, that they will trust in you to do what you alone can do, Father. Thank you, Father, for your word. Thank you, Lord, that you are true to who you are. We worship you, El Shaddai. In Jesus' name. Children, think of one family member, relative, or neighbor, or friend who is sick and or has a need. Let's believe that El Shaddai is mighty and powerful and he will do the impossible in their lives. So the third point I want you to join in praying with me is for um, think of one family member or a relative or a neighbor or a friend who is sick or they may have a need. Let's believe that El Shaddai is mighty and powerful and he will do the impossible in their lives. Father, what an immense privilege it is, O oh God, to just call on your name and know with such confidence, Lord, that you are the God of might, you are the God of power. And Father, even as these children of God come together, praying for those around them, maybe for their family members, maybe for a loved one, or maybe even for their own circumstances, I pray, Father, that you will give them that boldness, that courage and I pray that your your Holy Spirit would speak to them Lord that your Holy Spirit would convict them in their hearts and convince them in their hearts Lord that you are the God who is able and Father I pray that they will continue to place their trust in you and whoever it is Lord that is going through a difficult time Father we see around us so much of chaos so much of uh, confusion so uh, such death and disease but these are not things from you, Lord. Help us to understand that these are not things from you. And Father, you, you have so uh, clearly said in your word, you want to give us life and life in abundance. And I pray, Lord, every child praying out there would hold on to that promise that you have given us, O God. And I pray, Lord, every child would believe for wholeness and complete healing and recovery and whatever else it is that uh, is needed, O oh God, in the life of that dear one, or in the life of a friend, or in the life of a family member. I just ask, Lord, that you will intervene, you will speak, you will show that you are true, O oh God, you are the way, the truth, and the life. And thank you, Lord, for that confidence we have. We come together in boldness, we come together in agreement, and know that you will do these things, O oh God, for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So children, remember he is El Shaddai, that he is God Almighty. So have a wonderful day. I asked my friends what makes their mom great. They told me that she was their mate. They asked me why my mom's the best. I gave them this list and told them I'm blessed. Cooking dinner. 
cuddles play singing dancing music all day driving walking riding a bike mom knows exactly what i like homework reading computer fun endless weekends watching me run solving puzzles block tasks that's way keeping up with me all day friends come over and she cooks us treats we get stuck into all her sweets tucking me in bed with a song and a book even though her day was long this is my mom i have to say a very big happy mother's day a very big happy mother's day a very big happy mother's day so moms What a privilege this is for us and a responsibility that we don't take lightly I'm sure. So amidst all the juggling and all the balancing that I'm sure each one of you does we just want to keep you um in prayer. We want to bless you. We want to encourage you this day for all that you do for your families and for your little ones. irrespective of what their age is maybe you're a mom of a newborn baby maybe maybe you're the mom of a teenager maybe you are even a grandma but we think it is such a wonderful thing that we can come together uh, and uh, encourage one another and be blessed so i just want to pray a word of blessing over your lives and encourage you to bless other mothers and other women around you so let's just take this time to pray Father God, we thank you for the blessing of motherhood. We pray, Lord, that every mother, every grandmother, every woman of oh God who has um, borne this huge responsibility and who still bears it, I pray, Lord, that you would encourage her, give her wisdom, direct her steps, and I pray, Lord, that they would be women who love you and who. Um, display your love of oh god to their families as well and to those around i pray lord that her children would truly look up to her and i pray father that they would be women who um, do things for your kingdom and they would shine your light wherever they may be father we thank you lord for motherhood we bless every woman of oh god for whatever she is going through whatever struggles she may be facing or whatever issues they may be having i pray father that you will intervene that you will be their encourager that you will be their provider and you will be the one that they hold on to and draw strength from thank you once again lord for this wonderful privilege we bless each mother in your name father in jesus name i pray amen So wishing you all a very blessed happy mothers day
children we hope you enjoyed today's online service and we'd love to hear from you tell us what you think write your comments in the live chat section or send us an email to kids online at apcwo.org also don't forget to visit us online at apcwo.org slash kids online we have fun activities and challenges for you to do remember if you do a good work and send it to us we may include it in our upcoming online services so make sure you go to apcwo.org slash kids online and do one or more of those activities now before we close is anyone's birthday coming up this week wonderful why don't you type in your name your birthday and your age in the live chat section so that we as a team can wish you and pray for you now have you always had questions about the bible about jesus or how to live for jesus and you didn't know who to ask why don't you email your questions to us and we'll do our best to answer it in the upcoming online service the email you have to write to is kidsonline at apcwo.org we look forward to hearing from you now let's pray before we close shall we all close our eyes and bow our heads in prayer loving heavenly father we thank you and praise you for today's kids online service lord we thank you for each and every child who has attended this service lord we thank you for revealing yourself as el shaddai god almighty to us lord we pray that you will reveal yourself as el shaddai in our lives lord in our situations father god lord we pray for every child and their families who are watching this online service lord we ask you to protect each and every one of them under the shadow of your wings lord we proclaim that you are our rock and our fortress you are our protection lord we declare you el shaddai in our lives lord we give you all the glory in jesus precious name we pray amen bye kids see you next sunday